Dane County once again extending its mask mandate. The decision comes despite COVID cases dropping off in the state. You can see from this graph, cases have been on the decline since early last week. Today, only about 7,600 new COVID cases were reported, bringing the seven-day average to just over 9,000 positive cases reported each day. And we're taking a closer look at the history of mask mandates here in Dane County. The first mandate began in July of 2020. 20. Nearly a year later, after several extensions, the mask mandate expired June 2nd of last summer, 2021. In August of 21, public health issued another mask mandate as we moved closer to the start of the school year. And then on November 1st, a mandate extension was announced with plans to let it expire November 27th. However, it was extended into January of this year due to the holiday travel season. And today, after originally being set to expire down less than a week, Dane County's mask mandate is again being extended another month. So this new mask mandate will remain in place through the end of February. Charlotte Deleste joins us now with the reasons behind the extension. Charlotte? Well, Susan, it was set to expire in less than a week, and even though numbers are starting to finally fall again, it is not enough to remove the mandate. As Erica just mentioned, Dane County has had a mandate in place since late August. Since July of 2020, the only time the county did not have a mandate was between June and August 19th of last year. Health officials say because of the incredibly high rates of illness and hospitalizations, now is not the time to let our guard down. Our job in public health is to look at the health of the community, the health of the population, and to support practices and policies that have an impact across the community. Um, and so that's how we have to make these decisions. Dane County's new case count yesterday was down to 758. That's about half of the new case average at the peak of this recent surge. It is too early to tell, though, if Dane County has made it past the peak of those Omicron cases. And by the way, there have been about 130 complaints about people not wearing their masks since December 1st. Noncompliance in the city of Madison can result in a $376 fine, $263.50 in Dane County outside the Madison City limits.